Hey friends, this is Lear Cherub again. And today we can discover on on electrical systems, primary school science, and this is part one. Moreover, some parts will be discovered on the other video. So let's begin. Electrical systems. What is electricity? Electricity is a form of energy made up of electrical charges that produce light, heat, motion, and etc. If you look at this picture here, means the red colored dots of dots are electron flow. And the electron flow starts at the positive end at the battery. If you look at that picture here, if you see the power stations of power plants, the electricity is generated and transferred to a house. And the electricity in our house is used to switch on fan, switch on or switch off light, and air conditioner. And so, and therefore, let's look at the importance of electricity in our daily lives. Electricity can be used for heating or cooling, motion and power, and used through two communications and used to produce light. So motion and power, the, the examples are motor, car, blender, and drill. While for heating or cooling, for the heating examples, it is oven or iron. While for cooling, it's refrigerator and air conditioner. While for communications, examples like computers, radio, portable phones, and TV. Electricity can be used to produce light like floodlight, flashlight, lamp or light bulb let's look at the electric circuit electric circuit is a path which electricity flows through a simple circuit can be formed with a battery switch light bulb and some wires if you look at this picture below you will see a battery switch wire and a light bulb and that is called a simple electric circuit. Let's look at the wires. Wires allow electricity to flow through. They connect electrical components in the circuit together. They are usually made of copper. A battery is the energy source in the circuit. The battery contains chemicals to react to produce electrical energy. The battery has two terminals, positive end which is the plus sign and the negative end which is the minus sign. Well, if you look at this picture here, at this battery there, you see the positive end has... You see a positive end has a cap, has a cap on it while a negative end doesn't have a cap. Let's look at the switch and light bulb. A switch is connected to the electric circuit to control the flow of electricity in a circuit. A switch is used to open or close a circuit. When a switch is open, electric current cannot flow through the circuit and it will have a gap or break. But when a switch is closed, electric current can flow through the circuit and it has no gap or break. Well, if you look at these pictures here, it shows an open circuit and a closed circuit. If you look at an open circuit, it shows that the, the switch has a gap or break so that the bulb would not light up as electricity cannot flow through. And let's look at a closed circuit. A closed circuit is switch which has no gap or break and electricity can pass through and so therefore the bulb will, will shine as brightly as before and a light bulb. For the bulb to light up, light up, the wires must be connected to the both metal casing or metal tip. When electric current flows through the filament, it will get heated up and glows to produce light. Well, if you look at this picture there, you will see a glass covering. A glass covering has some insert gets like helium and the tungsten is used to produce light uh, or heat energy and the support wires help to pass through electricity for the tungsten 
and the metal casing and metal tip helps to protect the bulb and let's go on well let's look at the components of a circuit first one battery the battery has a cap on the positive end and don't have a cap a cap so the long the, the this is the positive one and that's the negative one the light bulb is like this or it can be like this a close switch is which you it doesn't have gap or break so it is like this while an open switch has a gap or break so it is like this symbol a series of batteries means you have two batteries but there's a sharp interval as i say this is a positive one and that's the negative one the wire it's like a line which transports electricity to the circuit last light on the next video we're going to discover on arrangement of batteries valves electrical conductors or insulators using or conserving electricity safely etc I hope you understand what I'm talking about in electricity and and you have gained a lot of knowledge. So, if you have any doubts, questions, comments, please type in the comment box below and subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you and thank you and have a nice day.